I'm missing one. Peachy up. Peach for your birthday, I'm forgiving your debts. What? That's so much money. She doesn't owe me any money anymore because she's six now. For those of you that are not aware, this is dog birthday month. Yeah, it's birthday time. Usually for the dog's birthday, we have a routine of like taking them to the pet store and having them pick out a toy and a treat, something like that and celebrating their birthday. We haven't really been doing that. We're still trying to minimize our time out in the world. And I feel like we've all had one of those birthdays, right? Where your mom's just like, can't do it this year. You're in seventh grade. Just have a couple of your friends over and have a sleepover. That's like the equivalent. So instead of doing all of their usual birthday things, I decided we're having one collective birthday. <laughs> Marble already had his 12th birthday. We did do like a candle, a little We held, we held like, one single candle up with our fingers we and literally, sung to him. Yeah, and the same with Peach, <laughs> who turned six. Marble's is 12, Peach is six. And Kermit's birthday, he's waited all year for it is on Saturday. Kerm is turning 10. I'm super proud of you, bud. Welcome to Double Digits. It's finally your birthday, and I'm really happy for you. Bunny had her birthday earlier, so it's not dog Happy birthday. birthday, Bunny. Happy birthday, Bunny. I have made them dog treats on my channel in the past, but I really just wanted to make them a birthday cake. If I'm being 100% honest, it's a little difficult right now to be in any type of creative headspace in 2020. Honestly, it's just a little difficult to exist in 2020, so I hope Hope you can understand that it's not a time for me to flourish creatively. You're a dormant flower. I'm a dormant flower in 2020. <laughs> and this is what I feel like doing. So if you're not here for dog content, this is the second dog video I've posted in a row. I apologize, but I also don't apologize. Can you do both I'm of those confused. things at the same time? Can I accept your apology or no? You can do both. When you go to accept the apology, but then it's not there. <laughs> I looked up a bunch of dog cake recipes. We've made biscuits and treats and that kind of thing. They all call for some ingredients we don't have that are safe for dogs, like eggs and that kind of thing. I feel like what we should try to do is to bake a dog birthday cake using our collective baking knowledge. One of us is a chef and fill it with ingredients that are technically safe for dogs. Might be disgusting together, but if you're a dog, you don't care. And See what happens. So when you looked up these recipes for dog food, were there dog chefs? Guy Fee Harry or Re Drum Bone? Gordon Ramsay. Gord hey, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Gore Dog Ramsay. Gore Dog Ramsay. Wolf Wolfgang. Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> nice. We just missed. This is my video. We're just gonna attempt to high five each other for 10 minutes straight. I told you my brother, when we were kids, he used to tell me if you start your high five like this and go straight out, you'll never miss. As hard as you can. Ready, go. Never miss. Oh my God, it's magic. And that's why my brother's an engineer. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get some stuff and throw it in a bowl. <laughs> and light it on fire and sing to animals. Are you okay? Have you lost it? No, yes, I have lost it. We're gonna make something truly cursed and yeah. disgusting, but our dogs will probably eat it because they're dogs. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Is this how parents feel? Bark E. Crocker. Julian? I don't know, grab some carrots. We have peas. I got peanut butter, coconut oil, oats, coconut flour. <laughs> That's disgusting. You want blueberries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Applesauce? Yeah, applesauce. Fuck it. Why did the, the Amazon Echo screen just have a thing that said how to make fish cheese? That's Click for recipe. Julian, no. Yeah, I did. I think it might be broken. Here's some peas. Are we doing this? Are we just throwing it in? Carrots. Julian, you have to like cut those <laughs> or shred them. <laughs> this um, is a culinary technique I learned. When your mom gives up on your birthday this year. Do you think they're actually gonna eat this? Here's coconut flour. Okay, well, we need baking, is it baking powder or baking soda? Baking powder. Cause that's what's gonna make it rise, right? Baking powder? Yeah. So the applesauce is a binder. This is like the fun yum filling. The coconut, coconut flour is the flour. Good, yes. Coconut oil, that works mm. for the oil. These are good. Do we use like almond milk or something? We could just use water. This is gonna be so gross. They're gonna love it because dogs <laughs> are hella dumb. <laughs> 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 no, they like blueberries, they like carrots, they like peas, they like peanut butter. It doesn't matter if you shove it all into a bowl and make it into a cake, they're gonna eat it. Do you wanna get coconut oil and some water? <laughs> you know what this is, babe? 
Do you know what this is? What is it? It's keto certified. Shouts out to all my friends that are keto. I don't know how you do it. I just, I'd be eating pretzels, you know? You're right. going really slow. I don't want any big pieces of carrot in here. But look, I'll do it. I'll show you Plus how. Plus they can't eat it. I want marble to be able to eat it. I know, it. but I can do this much faster. Minimal risk, not no risk. You're gonna cut the peas. I think carrot cake is one of my top 10 favorite cakes of all time. 10? That's so many. <laughs> <laughs> That's in my have top you, 10 too. I like had, three cakes. Have you had cakes? <laughs> There's so many and they're all so good. I, I, is... I like chocolate cake and I like ice cream cake. Carrot cake can be in the top 10 too, I don't care. Cookie cake? Uh, it's just, that's just a cookie. It's Ow! It's cosplaying as a cake. <laughs> oh, I've made a cookie cake. That giant ass cookie that one time, remember? This is our cake so far. It's going pretty well. Food Network who? Food Network who? All right, now this is our cake hold now. On. Hold, on. hold it up, hold it up. Just so you guys can see. This is why we don't cook to- <gasps> Don't, you're ruining it! No, it needs to be- the blueberries need to be mushed. Okay, I'm not opposed to it. I'm opposed to that. <laughs> you're gonna- I'm gonna kick you out of the kitchen. Okay. That's nice, Julian. That does add some fun texture. Caesar salad Milan. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know, it's a guy who has to do with dogs and Caesar salad. You're just making chefs into food puns? Yeah. Into, I thought it was dog puns though. Well, I made a dog guy into a food pun. <laughs> <laughs> I just had deja vu. You're gonna say, let's get the applesauce in next. Let's get the applesauce in next. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What the? <laughs> I didn't want it to get on the cap. All right, so here's our cake so far. I'll just hold it up and show you every step of the way. Okay, but how much? Why can't you use a tool for that? Oh, sorry, hold on one sec. My bad. This is how you know you live with an Aries. Multiple things of peanut butter open, all like almost finished. Why can't you just finish one and then open a new one when you need it? What? Where did you go? I went to get a tool. This doesn't have xylitol in it, right? <laughs> was that worth the walk? Was that joke worth the walk? Yeah, that was totally worth it. Why are these peanut butters like a tiny bit left in both of them? Those are the dog's peanut butters. That's them. I don't eat that. Yeah, I know it's the dog's peanut butter. Well, when they reach into the pantry to have a snack of peanut butter, they don't know which one to take. <laughs> Can I have the other peanut butter now since this one's like pretty much done? Oh yeah, this one's empty too. Yeah. It's That's frustrating. <laughs> Do you want some keto butter? Or not... oil? Keto oil? Keto oil? Alright, I think it should be like a lot of peanut butter and that's good. <laughs> Stop! How much oil? Fine, then you have to do all these dishes if you're gonna use chopsticks. <laughs> I'm a pro at dish doing. Because you're a pro at dish making. Yeah, takes one to know one the other. All right, so this looks delicious. It's not debatable. They're gonna love this. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> Sorry. Is, is this considered a cake? Actually, a little more flour, it could be a cake. We need baking powder. Oh, there's a boulder. Should we put oats in it? There's a boulder. Yeah, maybe a couple oats. How much baking powder? Like a couple of cups? Just a little, just a little sprink. Why are we using chopsticks? It's so efficient, babe. Is this human grade? Stop. stop. Literally, yes. Get Go get some oats. I'm gonna wash these chopsticks. This is so cursed. What else could we? <laughs> <laughs> What else could we put in here? If we bake this, is it what's gonna happen to it? It's just gonna harden a little bit. It needs like water, or like a liquid, I think. Right? For it to be cake? Yeah, water. Ooh, you know what they like is shredded coconut. Should we just take all of this and put it in like a food processor? I don't think we need to, honestly. Some of this. Yeah. They little like, shredded coconut. They like coconut. That's good, that's good. It looks so gross. Should I preheat the oven? Yeah. How much? I don't know. It's not gonna cook very long, right? I don't know. This is truly disgusting, but they're gonna love it. They're, they have to love it. You can taste part of it. I don't want to. It tastes fine. It mostly just tastes like applesauce and coconut. Can you taste the peanut butter? Yeah. I mean, if you take a bite of pea or carrot, it's gonna taste like pea or carrot. But there like for the most part, it really doesn't taste bad at all. Just a nice, shallow, cursed cake. What do we make the frosting out of? Uh, potatoes? I saw a video where someone took boiled potatoes and just like whipped them up with yogurt. I don't know what we have instead of yogurt. Or we could just do potatoes, like a nice whipped potato topping. Should I boil? Yeah, boil. What do you guys think? That's fucking cursed. 
Is it cursed? Yeah, it's cursed. I don't know. Make it rain. You're cleaning. No, it's your video. <laughs> you think you're so funny. Are you guys excited? That'd be good. Are you excited, birthday boy? You can lick it because I'm not gonna eat any of it, so it really doesn't bother me. You have a few licks before it goes in the oven. All right, so I washed the potatoes. Now I'm gonna just boil, this is one potato, I'm gonna boil it. Jenna's gonna clean all this up and then we'll, we'll be back. I didn't make this mess. Can I help you, birthday boy? I let him have a lick of it and now he really wants it. Oh God. Oh, he can lick it, I guess. That's what I said. <laughs> you're gonna like it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh. This is the only time you're gonna be able to do this. Are you excited, bud? It's my birthday. All right, Ooh. we cook? We cook. We cook. <laughs> you missed the cake already, bud? Don't worry, when it comes out, we're gonna sing you happy birthday, okay? It's your birthday. Is it good? Are you excited? Are you ten? Okay, I'm gonna put you down, all right? What's this? It's a potato ricer. Wow. We're gonna make it nice and fine. Just watch out, that's hot. Okay. Potato ricer. Eat. It eats potatoes and it rices it so it gets real fluffy. Wow. Really fun, right? Lovely. Need a spoon. Twice rice, babe. Rice numero dos. I'm just gonna put a little milk in there. Yeah. So now we can like spread this on the top of the cake to make it look like frosting once it cools off. The cake is not done yet. <laughs> How does it look? The same. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm actually a little proud. It looks like it's turning into a cake. For no measurements or really anything at all, it kind of looks like a cake. Yeah. Our cake is done, whatever this is, and cooled. It's cooked. It okay. looks like it could use some potatoes. Oh no. I was gonna try and see if I could get it on the dog birthday party. Oh. <gasps> yeah, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna work. <laughs> Look at that though. That's like a good texture. I'm gonna take this. I'm getting kicked. I know you're excited. Take this lovely potato, spread it on top. Everything in here is safe for dogs. It doesn't matter if it looks good or not, or if you want to eat it or not. If they want to eat it, that's cool. And if you guys don't want to eat it, you don't have to. What do you think? Looks disgusting. Okay, Kerm, come here, bud. Your birthday hasn't happened yet. Kermie, come. It's on fire, bud, okay? Happy birthday to you, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday dear. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit, Peach, and Marble, and Bunny a little while ago. You can come too, because we love you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, bud, it's finally your birthday on Saturday. Not yet, but almost pretty much. Okay, make a wish, buddy. Okay? Yay! Yay! Good boy! <laughs> All right, who wants some cake? Let me cut, okay, Carmen. <laughs> How do we do this? Yummy. Yummy, Ooh. yum. Oh, God. It tastes fine. It looks like food that someone's already eaten. <laughs> it, like, honestly, it tastes fine. It tastes like coconut and peanut butter, and there's some vegetables and potatoes. So I'm just gonna... Mush it up for them. All this stuff is fine, but I don't want to upset anyone's tummy. Papa, come here. Will you eat off of this plate? That's for you, bud. Okay? Nice and soft. Carmi, come. Good boy. Come on. Happy birthday, bud. Peach and Carm. Birthday cake. Okay. Oh my god, Peach. <laughs> is that good? You like it, bud? Peas and carrots and blueberries and peanut butter and potatoes. Oh, they like it, babe. Is that good? They really like it. <laughs> I mean, it Peach was is playing hockey. totally a cursed cake, and I didn't think it was going to be this much of a hit, but dogs are going to be dogs, I guess. Look at you! Did you have some birthday cake? Was it yummy? Oh, she finished. What a good girl. Look at this angle of her meeting. She's so nasty. I was trying to get that one blueberry so bad. 
<laughs> he just figured out how to step on the plate. Oh, this is really nice. I don't know if this is a, a cake you should ever recreate or make, but it's what we had in the house and everything is safe for a dog to eat and I think they liked it. So mission accomplished. High five. We should save it because they really did like it a lot, but yeah, it's- it smells. It's disgusting. You happy? Do you want a little extra? Since your birthday hasn't quite happened yet. Happy birthday, Carm. Happy birthday, bud. We promise we won't forget this Saturday. We love you so oh much. Okay. Happy dog birthday month. Maybe we celebrate it like this in the future. This Just one one day. One birthday. Yeah, I they, think that's the move. They merge and combine into one birthday and we just make an abomination for them. Hope they see you next week. All right, give us your nastiest birthday face. Ready? Oh, that was a good burp. I love you so much. All right, give me several high fives starting from here and we'll never miss. And we did it. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, five, six, several. Thank you. Nice job, pal. Pal. See you guys next week. That's it. Goodbye. Peach.